mentor is very important. I think both for the mentor and for the person being mentored, right? I tell my students this all the time. Um, like when you have to break down information to teach someone else, you get better at it because you have to run it through your brain. So that's the process of my Kung Fu school. At a certain point, you have to help your Kung Fu brothers, right? And not just to take the load off my shoulders, I don't teach everybody, right? But the most important thing is you're going through the process of teaching somebody and you have to break down that information and teach them. And for me, mentorship is important for me is that's, that's how people in the movie industry, I think in the entertainment business, um, transfer their skills and transfers their information especially in 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 our field right in music or in, in uh, production in production and in, in, in movies you know everything editing every department that i know um people that are at top of their game they weren't didn't learn their craft at a at a college or a university they learned from a mentor someone who was a proficient or very well known or very well versed in that field and then they transfer their information to them through work through apprenticeship so that's so i think that's for me um most where most of my my knowledge has come from both in kung fu both in life and in life and also mainly what i do as far as life skills and um and, and the idea of discipline i think a lot of people at um you know because of popular media they attribute that to martial arts right um, that's definitely true, but I think um, for every skill set that you, you have, uh, be it golf, be it uh, boxing, be it basketball, be it you know producing hip hop music, you know it's it's a skill set, right? And um, every skill set has a goal, right? Um, you have to be very clear about that skill set's goal. And for instance, martial arts, the goal of martial arts, um, unfortunately, is not mainly discipline. It's not physical health. It's not those things. It's it's teaching me to efficiently, simply, and directly, mechanically to incapacitate the person in front of me before they can hurt me or while they're hurting me. But it's like a gun. No one says a gun is evil or good. It's just a tool. Kung Fu is a tool, right? But training my body to become that tool to be able to destroy another living thing in front of me takes discipline. It takes physical fitness. And it takes all those different things. And in, in training your body to be able to perform those physical tasks, you become healthy, right? So I think discipline for me came from me wanting to be good at Kung Fu and then putting all that time and sacrificing all those things to do though, to do, to achieve that goal. And that taught me no matter what goal that I wanted to achieve, be it, you know, be a, a action choreographer, martial arts choreographer, um, be a, you know, lead in a TV series or whatever goal that you have, it's the same thing. Understand the purpose of what you're doing and work hard specifically to gain that goal and know that there's trials and tribulations in attaining that goal. But having experience in doing martial arts, understanding that I can surpass those limitations, surpass those so-called plateaus to reach my goal, I can do that in whatever career that I choose. I think having the proper mindset is probably like one of your most important weapons in, in, in this game, you know, I mean, because that's the thing that can deteriorate the easiest, you know, I mean, like I said, it's brainwashing, right? If people telling you you're not good enough, people tell, whatever agenda that they have, right? Some people will just push you down because they need to stand up or they need to feel better about themselves or whatever. But you have to understand when you're communicating with people or, or what when people are saying certain things, what their objective is. And then, um, and then don't let them knock you out of your mindset, knock you out of your frame. Understand what you need to be, what you need to do. And don't let people knock you out of there. And just be confident in what you can do. And um, and like I said, if you hear something enough, it's it's brainwashing. And then a lot of people will tell you you can't do anything. I remember. I, I mean, just recently, I heard uh, one of my buddies. Uh, he works at a restaurant, and then um, and, uh, and then uh, I was there with my family, and and then uh, when I left. The boss made fun of me because that was when I first told people or my father <laughs> told people I was going to go to Hong Kong and try this whole acting thing. And, and it was, you know, and I understand, you know, they think it's silly. It's a pipe dream, you know, and, you know, but now they're asking me for pictures. So work hard, kids. <laughs>